basic template ready so I am going to try this example over to here I will copy the whole code I will go to my studio I will say open folder desktop okay I have a folder called mashup YouTube now I'm going to create a file called index.html I'm going to paste the code and yeah you are okay so I will just oops, sorry I have a folder this is my HTML file I open this file so I have opened the file on my local now now what I can do is I can start building the UI for my dashboard so uh, the UI what I am thinking about uh, is I have let's say two KPIs current year last year I have a set of KPIs which uh, uh, Rohan has added into the table box so let's see if it is variables yes it he has created some variables that we can use okay so uh, what's this so okay this is an empty space I can remove that save okay <coughs> sorry okay so the data will not refresh so in my case we have two kpis uh, and three objects in here and sorry and based on that we also have trends of year of months okay no problem so let's go over here I have now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my first layout now I'm going to clear all this I'm going to write 12 I'm going to create a grid now of uh, three by nine. And here I'm going to add my code. okay this is uh, will be my kpi or navigation this will be charts okay and now just refresh inspect element 
go to your dashboard so you have one you have one row that one row has one column and it is divided into two okay so it doesn't has uh, the UI uh, the the height so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write height okay so <clears throat> so now I am going to create a row so I did it in a wrong way so I have to create a row here first now it's okay I'll format my document I'll save it and now it's okay now I am going to create a row inside this and I am going to say column 12 and now I can add my objects in there. So this will be my logo. I will copy paste. Now this will be my, let's say, uh, filter. Or I can say last. last refreshed this is going to be my filter or variable variable button here will be my kpi1 Here will be the KPI 2. Similarly, over here I will create a division tag. A new row inside that row. I have an object of full width, I'll say OBJ1, then I have an object again two, three, save. So I have three objects, based on that I want to play around. So what I want is so over here let's see in the dashboard